This is Kelly Phillips from Boost Interactive Media. In today's course, I'm going to show you how to replace the standard PayPal button with a custom button. Now, first of all, why would you want to do this? Everybody's familiar with the PayPal button, this yellow with the blue text. Everybody knows that that's a PayPal button. It's a very visually identifiable thing, but it doesn't always look that nice on your website. You can easily switch out this standard button with something that is themed to the design of your website, which creates a much more polished and professional look. There are five steps we're going to go over today. Step number one is creating a button image. Step number two, upload the image to your website. Step number three, create a custom button in PayPal. Step four, copy the button code to your web page. And step five, test the button. I design sites in WordPress, so I'm going to use a WordPress site to demonstrate some of this. This will work on any kind of a website, though. It doesn't have to be a WordPress site. Step number one, create a button image. We are going to be working with a site for a women's conference that I'm helping to organize. And this is the sponsorship page, and as I scroll down, you'll see that you can purchase different levels of sponsorship. I wanted to make sure that the buttons for each level of sponsorship had a different look to them. If somebody's going to become a gold sponsor, they click the gold button. If somebody's going to become a silver sponsor, they click the silver button. I wanted to use the buttons to give that visual space to make sure that people were focused on clicking the level of sponsorship that they really wanted. Now to make this button image, I used Photoshop. Now you don't have to use Photoshop, it's a very expensive tool, not everybody has it. You can make a button image with anything that you have. You can use PicMonkey, you can use GIMP, there are several online editors that are easy to use and you can make an image anywhere. There's no specific size for your button, it can fit into whatever space, whatever size that you have on your website. Step two is upload the image to your website. Now once you have your button image, you want to save it out as a JPEG or a PNG. Those are the two best image formats to use for web design. And you're going to upload that button to your website. The reason you have to do that is because PayPal is going to want to look for the image already on your website. So I'm going to switch over to the WordPress dashboard. I'm already in the media library and you can see where I have already uploaded these images. And once you upload an image, we'll use the gold button as an example. Once you've uploaded the images, the images assign a file URL, and you can see that over here on the right. Copy that file URL because we're going to use that later. Once you've got the image uploaded, you're ready for step three, which is actually creating the button in the PayPal website. So you want to log into your PayPal account and click on the Merchant Services tab. Now PayPal may update these screens at the point that you're watching this. It may not be exactly the same, but there will be an entry that says create payment buttons for your website. You'll need to click that. And we're going to go through and create a button. The first thing we need to do is choose the button type. What matters here is really the, the language and the way the button works. Um, the Buy Now is the most common button, and that's the one we're going to demonstrate with today. But if this is a donation, you'd want to use the Donation button. If you're using this button for people to purchase gift certificates or subscriptions, if it's in an automatic billing or installment plan, you would select the correct type of button um, for your custom button. So we're going to do a Buy Now because this is a one-time purchase of sponsorship and then you name it. Now, the names that you put on here will be seen on the receipt from PayPal, so you want them to be something that your clients and customers can actually view. So in this case, we're gonna wanna name this you know, Gold Level Sponsorship. And the same with the item ID. This is just a unique identifier, but I like to add that as well. Now, what is the price of this? In our case, the gold level sponsorship is $100. Now, if you need multiple prices, you can do that down here. Click the Add drop-down menu with a price option or just add the drop-down menu and it gives them a choice of sizes without having a price. So if everything, if every option is the same price, you can use this one. Um, you can also add a text field in case there's a note that the client needs to add for whatever you're selling. 
We're not going to do any of those on this particular button. We will drop down though the customized text or appearance. This is where you determine that you're going to use your own button image. And this is where you would go back, grab that URL from wherever you uploaded your image and paste it right in here. So I'm going to head back to WordPress. My graphic is already open. I'm going to select and I like to press control A. I'm on a PC. I like to press control A to make sure I select the entire file address because look there's more here and I've seen people just select what's visible in the window. You want to make sure you select everything there. And then I'm going to copy and head back over to PayPal and this is where I will paste that URL. And that way PayPal knows what button image it should pull. Now mine never shows up here. Yours may show up here. Um, but I think because it's a custom button, PayPal won't actually show you what it looks like. Now if you have shipping, you can go ahead and enter that here. I don't have any shipping or tax with this one. I'm going to use my secure merchant account and that's something you do when you create a merchant account with PayPal. This step two area is track inventory profit and loss. The only thing that I need to do here is saving my button at PayPal. I do want to save this in case I need to use it again because really we're going through all the trouble to create the button. Why not save it so that if we need the code again we can just come back and get it. What if the code gets deleted or something or you need to use it in a different place on your website. So I, I do recommend that you save your button at PayPal. If you want you can track inventory and track profit and losses. We are not going to do that right now. It's a little more advanced. And then step three is some customized features. If you want to let your customer change order quantities there on the PayPal, you can say yes or no. We are going to let them change order quantities. Do you want them to add special instructions? I'm going to say yes. And you can customize this message. In our case, I'm going to say yes. Send a note to the conference committee. Do you need your customer's shipping address? Yes or no. Even if you're not shipping them something, you may want to collect an address just to know who they are or have them on a mailing list. So you can say yes or no there. And then I highly recommend that you do this. You can create pages on your website to take somebody to when they cancel their checkout or when they finish their checkout. I think this is very important for a couple of reasons. Number one, if somebody cancels their checkout, you can take them to a page on your site that helps give them the benefits of your product and maybe convince them to go back and purchase it. Maybe give them an extra deal, give them information that they didn't necessarily have before. Taking your customers to a specific page on your site after they finish checkout can really help customer satisfaction. Once you click and pay for an item, a lot of times you have a little bit of nervousness or buyer's remorse, you know, did I do the right thing, should I have bought that? If you build a page on your website congratulating the customer for their purchase, reaffirming that they did the right thing, giving them extra details about how or when they're going to get their product, all of that goes to help reassure the customer that they made the right choice by buying from you. So take advantage of those um, opportunities to make your customers happy and do these custom pages. We're not going to worry about variables right now either. We're going to keep this nice and simple. Okay, I've got everything in and I'm going to click Create button. And now we're ready for step four, add the button code to your web page. So here's the button code. And again, you don't want to select just what you can see in the window. You can hit the select code button. That'll select it all for you and hit copy. Now you want to go back to your website. And again, in this case, we're using WordPress. And I'm going to go to the page where I want to paste the button. In this case, the sponsors page. I need to make sure I'm pasting my code in the proper spot. So in WordPress, I come up here and I choose the text tab. And that's going to shake my page and turn it into this gobbledygook. This is the actual code that makes the page. So you have to find the spot here in the code where you want to actually paste your button. In this case, it's pretty easy. This means there's blank space there. And so I can just put my cursor in and paste my button code. And if I switch back to the visual view, there's my button that I just pasted. So at this point, I can update the page to save it. Okay, our page is updated. Let's go to the live site and see what it looks like. 
Here's our live site. I just need to refresh the page. And there's our button. So you're ready for the last step, step five. Always test your button. All you need to do to test is click on Become a Gold Sponsor. Click on your button. And it should take you to a PayPal page where you can log in. Now you may want to actually go through and submit the payment. You will be paying the PayPal fee if you do that. If you're a little more advanced, there's also a PayPal sandbox environment um, that you can go to and create a test account, do all of this in your test account, make sure everything's working fine. So this is how you create a custom button for your website. Now you can go and create beautiful website buttons that match your theme and give you that more polished look when your clients go to buy your products.